Hello everyone, welcome back. Tom with Capo Fetish. Today we're going to do the impossible task of compiling our top 25 favorite Bob Dylan songs from the 1960s. Considering how prolific he was even from 63 to 66, it's not an easy task, but we're going to do it. I picked 25 of my absolute favorite songs from that era. I'm going to start off with number 25 here from the album John Wesley Harding, the track Dear Landlord, starting off side two. So after, well, roughly about an 18-month sabbatical after his supposed motorcycle accident and a grueling 1966 tour, Bob Dylan kind of stripped away the stream of conscious lyrics, uh, started writing more, um, I think he was reading the Bible uh, around this period. So a lot of these songs have kind of a biblical bent. Uh, Dear Landlord is a great uh, piano-driven tune. Uh, if you've never heard this version, uh, you should check this out. This is uh, off of... Uh, the CD reissue of Janis Joplin's I Got Them All Cosmic Blues Again, Mama. She does a great version of Dear Landlord, kind of bluesy with the uh, Cosmic Blues uh, backup band doing the, uh, of course, the kind of uh, horn section. Great, great version if you've never heard it. It's a bonus cut on this album. Coming on at number 24 off of the Basement Tapes box set is This Wheels on Fire, a phenomenal song covered by a lot of artists. Uh, one note being uh, Brian Auger and Julie Driscoll's version in the late 60s. Another great version is uh, The Birds, author Dr. Uh, Birds and Mr. Hyde. That's a great version. And then Susie and the Banshees back in the 80s did a, a really rousing version as well. Great, great song, This Wheels on Fire. This version, of course, having the band backing him up for the basement tape sections at Woodstock. And uh, I think there's quite a few versions on this. I think the one I like the most is the one they cleaned up for the actual basement tapes release in 75. That's a great version. Coming in at number 23 after another side on another side of Bob Dylan is Spanish Harlem Incident. Great tune, also covered by the birds on Mr. Tambourine Man. Great, great tune. Coming in at number 22, track one, side two off Highway 61 Revisited, Queen Jane. Queen Jane, approximately. And uh, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed, but the guitar always sounded a little bit out of tune on this uh, on this cut. Maybe that adds to the aura, the whole vibe of the song. But it, oh, I think Dylan's uh, Stratocaster, maybe it was Telecaster, sounds just a tad bit out of tune with the rest of the instruments. But love this tune, Queen Jane, approximately, off Highway 61 Revisited from 65. Coming in at number 22. Uh, coming in at number 21 off National Skyline. Just a beautiful song. I threw it all away. I think there's a version on one of the um, bootleg series of him and Johnny Cash doing this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, love this tune. And I think this is a really underrated Dylan album. Uh, clocks and just like just about 30 minutes long. Yeah, there's some kind of hokey sounding songs in here, but I just kind of like this kind of down-to-earth Dylan on this album. A lot of great tunes. Uh, of course, the duet with Bob uh, Johnny Cash, Girl from the North Country, is fantastic. So yeah, I threw it all away, coming in at number 21. Going back to Highway 61 Revisited for number 20, It Takes a Lot to Laugh, It Takes a Train to Cry. What a great tune. I love the piano, that kind of um, kind of barroom piano going on in the middle of that. And just the way, uh, you know, when you listen to, uh, I, I forget what bootleg series it is. I think it's um, The Cutting Edge or the one where uh, it features a lot of songs from Highway 61 and uh, Blonde on Blonde. Uh, he does, uh, he, he works up the song, this song, It Takes a Lot to Laugh, It Takes a Train to Cry. And it doesn't even sound like this version at all. So um, it was well worth going over the song. Um, you know, just just kind of refining it to where it, it came out like this on this album. It sounds amazing. Always been one of my favorites. It takes a lot to laugh. It takes a train to cry off Highway 61 Revisited. Coming in at number 19 off the Free Will and Bob Dylan is The Girl from the North Country. Second track on side one. Just a beautiful song. One of his early greats. Um, just off it, just a phenomenal early album here, uh, The Free Wheel and Bob Dylan. And as I said earlier, just uh, another great version with Johnny Cash of Nashville Skyline. 
But to me, this is the definitive version. Go from the North Country, coming in at number 19 off Free Will, Free Will and Bob Dylan. Coming in at number 18 off of uh, Bring It All Back Home. It's all right, Ma, I'm Only Bleeding. It's a phenomenal song with just uh, incredible lyrics, um, almost apocalyptic kind of lyrics. Um, I saw him do a version of this. I think it was at the 93 tribute concert, 30th tribute concert at Madison Square Garden. Not a great version. Uh, you couldn't really hear the lyrics, but uh, this is definitely the definitive version. This is a mono copy, an original mono copy from 1965. Bringing it all back home, again, uh, number 18. It's all right, Ma, I'm only bleeding. Coming in at number 17 is Just Like a Woman, of a blonde on blonde. Love the studio version, but I really, really love the version off this live 1966, where he's just performing it with just acoustic and harmonica. Just beautiful, beautiful rendition. If you've never heard this, check it out. I think this is one of his best of the bootleg series. This is, of course, has the uh, the Judas performance. I don't even think this is the um, the Royal Albert Hall. I think it was the Banchester performance. But yeah, the half of it is the acoustic. The second half is the electric with the band. But um, the acoustic section is so incredible, as well as the electric. But uh, this, just like a woman, gorgeous, gorgeous, off of the Live '66 bootleg series. Coming in at number 17, coming in at number 16, back to the John Wesley Harding album, I'll Be Your Baby Tonight, last song on side two. Uh, back in the day uh, when I was in a band, we did a version of this, such a great, fun song to play. And uh, I really love this album, John Wesley Harding. I think this is one of my top three or four all-time Dylan albums. So I'll Be Your Baby Tonight, Coming in at number 16 on my list. Coming in at number 15 is the absolute epic Sad-Eyed Lady of the Lowlands off Blonde on Blonde from 66, taking up all of side four. Um, it just kind of um, just kind of has this rhythm that just, uh, it's very soothing. I think this was written about his wife, Sarah. And it's just, um, it's almost like you don't want it to end. It just keeps kind of going. It's almost kind of, um, daydreamy kind of dreamy pop sounding i always love sad eyed lady of the lowlands always puts me in a really fine mood for me this is coming in at number 15 on my list coming in at number 14 is mr tambourine man off bringing it all back home of course the most popular version is the birds version with the which pretty much started the whole jangle revolution but i love his version as well i think it's just as good I love that second guitar, whoever's playing it, adding those arpeggios. Just uh, just gorgeous, gorgeous melody. Uh, the lyrics are so, um, you know, what, what would you say? Uh, surreal and wonderful. Um, yeah, just an incredible song, incredible melody. One of his best, Mr. Tambourine Man for me, coming in at number 14. Coming in at number 13 is an absolute timely song for this day and age as we enter 2024. Hard Rain's Gonna Fall off Free Will, Free Will and Bob Dylan. It was very timely then, very timely now. I think this song will always be very relevant. Incredible song, A Hard Rain's Gonna Fall off of Free Will and Bob Dylan, coming in at number 13. Coming in at number 12, we go back to the Bringing It All Back Home album for She Belongs to Me. Another great ballad of Dylan's. Great imagery, great just lyrical content as always, and great melodies. I think during his 65, 66 period, I think that has some of his greatest melodies he's ever written. And this is no exception. She Belongs to Me, coming in at number 12. Coming in at number 11 is a song I've always loved off of uh, John Wesley Harding, Drifter's Escape. Uh, last song on side one. If you've never heard it, Check out Jimi Hendrix's version off this posthumous release, South, 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 South Saturn Delta. Came out in 1997. It's a compilation. He does a really cool rockin' version of Drifter's Escape. Gotta check that out if you can. Pull it up on YouTube. So that's coming in at number 11, Drifter's Escape off of John Wesley Harding. Coming in at number 10 off of... 
bringing it all back home is Love Minus Zero. Another song I like just as much as She Belongs to Me. Just another wonderful ballad. Great melody. Coming in at number nine. Another epic song of Blonde on Blonde. Stuck inside a mobile with the Memphis, Memphis Blues again. Grandpa died last week and now he's buried in the rocks. Everybody was talking about how badly they were shocked. Great, great song. Uh, love the instrumentation. I love the way it ends. That melody is fantastic. Goes on for about 10 minutes. Uh, I think the first time I ever heard this was on The Greatest Hits Volume 2. This is just, I think, one of his absolute best. Suck it, stuck Inside Mobile with the Memphis Blues again. Coming in at number nine. Back to the bringing it all back home for number eight. It's all over now, Baby Blue. A song that he ended his Newport Festival set in 65 where he plugged in. And he looked a little uh, shook up from the performance there. And it was a great way to end the performance. He was moving on at this point from the topical uh, subject matter, moving into more stream of conscious lyrics, a new era for Dylan. It's all over now, Baby Blue, one of the greatest songs ever written. Coming in at number eight. Coming in at number seven, back to the Free Will and Bob Dylan album, Masters of War, another real timely song, as there are several wars going on right now. Another song that will always be, unfortunately, relevant. And uh, one of his more angriest songs, off of a, just a timeless album from 63, Freewheeling Bob Dylan. Coming in at number seven, Masters of War. Back to bringing it all back home. Number six, Maggie's Farm. Great song. Another great song he did uh, on the, um, I think he opened up Newport 65 with that song. And uh, I think Pete Seeger wanted to cut the wires. Some people were horrified. Some people were loving it. He definitely had a division going on in the audience that night. Uh, pe some people loved the new direction he was going in, and some people wanted him to just remain a topical protest singer. For me, this is coming in at number six, Maggie's Farm. Now we're down to our top five. Back to bringing it all back home. Number five, Gates of Eden. I always remember this was the flip side of uh, uh, Just Like a Rolling Stone, the 45 we had growing up. And why no, just like a Rolling Stone in this list, I love the song, but there's so many to choose from and so many that hit me more on a personal level. So uh, anyway, this one here coming in at number five, Gates of Eden, just great, great song, uh, bringing it all back home. And then we're going to move over to Highway 61 Revisited for number four. One of the greatest songs, in my opinion, ever written, Desolation Row, ending side two. I like the way it starts off. And it, and it picks up, it almost picks up energy as it goes along. The harmonica solo at the end, uh, the guitar is getting a little more frantic at the end. Uh, the second guitar, whoever's playing that second guitar is fantastic. I just love the song, all the imagery, stream of conscious lyrics, the melodies. Uh, just fantastic. This is my favorite Dylan album, Highway 61 Revisited. Desolation Row, and I'm going to hold this album up for the next two of my absolute favorite songs of all time from Dylan. Just like Tom Thumb's Blues, the way it starts off with that piano and that kind of sludgy sounding clean guitar, incredible. When you're lost in the rain in Juarez and it's Easter time too. What a great story. Just a really bizarre story there from Dylan. Um, there's a great version of Neil Young doing this song at the 30th anniversary of Dylan's concert at Madison Square Garden. Yeah, I think he's playing with Crazy Horse, doing electric version of uh, Just Like Tom Thumbs Blues. It's fantastic if you've never heard it. Fantastic. This is coming in at number three. And then let's just hold the album up for number two. One of my absolute favorite all-time Dylan songs, Ballad of a Thin Man. You know, something is happening. You don't know what it is, do you, Mr. Jones? And uh, there's a great version on the Live 66 album here with some great Hammond organ going on great playing uh guitar playing going on from Robbie Robertson but to me the definitive version of this is on Highway 61 Revisited love love Ballad of a Thin Man and my number one all-time Dylan song from the 1960s it's off of Blonde on Blonde 
but I love the version on the Live 66 version. It's Visions of Johanna. But this version off a Biograph, which came out in 1985, is to be the definitive version of Visions of Johanna. It is absolutely amazing, the phrasing on it. This was recorded in 1966. I'm not sure what, if it was Manchester or if it was Newcastle. Um, hold on, let me check. Hold on one second, it says on the back here. Let's see here, here. Okay. Just says live unreleased version 52666. But anyway, this version here, his phrasing, the way he just rolls off the lyrics. I don't know. There's just something very, very magical about this vision, this version of Visions of Johanna. Anytime it comes on on my pod, I have to just crank it. It's just there's something really mesmerizing about it, almost transcendent. And it's just absolute perfection, everything about it, his playing, the phrasing, uh, the rhythmic way he's, he's reciting the lyrics. It's just incredible. So this is my absolute favorite Dylan song from the 1960s. And this particular version of Visions of Johanna on the Biograph box set from 1985. What are your favorite Dylan songs from the 1960s? Give me your top 10, top 15, 20, 25. I'd like to know. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Have a good day, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.